We all dread growing up. Sure, there's that whole fear of being closer to death, but what's really terrifying is responsibility. We all shudder to think about becoming a productive member of society, not because we're lazy, but because we don't know what to do when we finally reach adulthood. But I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, one that a lot of people have to find out on their own. Are you listening closely? Nobody really knows what they're doing. Your parents, your teachers, your employers, no one. That doesn't mean it's hopeless, however. There are actually a few simple tricks and tips that will go a long way and make you seem like a life expert. I'm Mike with List 10, and let's find a few minutes to actually relax and check out these hacks for adulting that might make life a little less intimidating. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and click that notification bell. It really helps us out. And yes, I... I said list 10. There are only 10 items on this list, but don't worry, you will let us know. Love you all. They're not gonna love us for much longer. <laughs> Ten. Meet a new person every day. I'm not just talking about a quick little, hey, I'm so-and-so, and you're so-and-so, and so, -and -so, and so uh, bye now. Take 10 minutes or more to get to really know a person. What are their hobbies? What do they do for a living? Do you have any common interests? Getting to know a new person is doing two huge things for your life. First, you're improving your social skills a little more each day. Meeting new people is hard, especially as an adult who's just trying to survive another month. That being said, starting out on this hack will be scary enough. But the more people you meet, the better you become at meeting people and expanding your network. Which brings us to the second improvement of your life, building your connections. I'm sure you've heard the phrase, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. It's said so often because it's so true. This new person might be someone who has a lead on a job you've been trying to get. They might know a more cost-effective mechanic. They might have a skill that you can utilize someday. Or perhaps they'll just lead you to even more people to double or triple or even quadruple all of the above. One is how I got this job and I met him by chance by just being nice because he was my neighbor. And because and, of that, I met Mike. Yeah. Nine. Take a riskless chance. Call your car insurance company, your service providers, or really anyone who's charging money that you'd rather not pay. Ask if there's anything you or they can do to lower your bills and help you pay a little less. This won't always work, but it also isn't unheard of and won't cost you anything more than a few minutes of your time. The right attitude and willingness to take the leap could make all the difference. Like, Mike, could you have less numbers on your lists? Sure. Can you have more? Also sure, tune in tomorrow. Eight, put yourself on an allowance. Withdraw a certain amount of cash at the beginning of the week. Let's see what I've gotten so far. Here, what's my allowance for the week? Oh crap, it's $2. That is not a good allowance. Well, as far as you're concerned, this is all you have to spend, uh-oh. You'll be shocked at how much more careful and safe you are with your money when you can see it disappear before your very eyes. That is true. In the olden days, lessons were taught by using pain. What's more painful than forking over 20 bucks or more? Looking at my wallet and saying I only have two, that's pretty painful. Seven, not even social anxiety should stop you from being friends with your local library. Yeah, believe it or not, these things still exist. For you, some of us might have been conditioned to associate the word library with the word boring, but you couldn't be more wrong. Libraries are filled with not just books, but movies, music, video games, audiobooks, and even, you're really not gonna believe this, ebooks. That's right, you can take advantage of your local library from the comfort of your couch. The best part, it's inexpensive or even free. Who doesn't like free? Six, many colleges offer free therapy sessions. Therapy is nothing to be ashamed of. It doesn't mean you're crazy or a dangerous person. It means that you're coping with stress in a healthy way. Being an adult is stressful, and most young adults have to tackle college at the same time. 
let your school give back to you and make the most of those overpriced tuition bills. Five, cooking isn't nearly as hard as you might think. There are dozens of recipes for any meal you can think of. In fact, not being a great chef really all comes down to intimidation. Google's a genie that's ready to provide you with any known cookbook in the universe. Some are easy and others are more complex. Get in the habit of making easy versions of your favorite meals before improving your skills with the more difficult and experimental dishes. Four, see your friends and family. Some might not consider this a hack, but the dictionary defines hack as a way to manage or cope and nothing helps to cope with life like spending time with your friends and family. Take a couple hours or even a full day to just forget about your troubles and distract yourself with the ones who care about you. If you'd rather not use them as a distraction, see if you can brainstorm solutions to the curveballs life is throwing at Three, download Honey. Remember the good old days when your mom would take out her big bag of coupons and spend half an hour or more at the checkout page of an online store? just hoping that one or two of those little codes might work and save a few bucks, it's time to make her jealous with Honey. Honey is a browser app that within just a few seconds scans the entire internet for any available discounts on products that you're currently looking to purchase and automatically applies them to your order. If nothing is available at the time, it saves your order and alerts you whenever the price drops. Honey is here to save us money and we can only be grateful. We'll leave a link in the description below. Two, check your bank account daily. I know, Halloween is over. <laughs> sure is. We're past the time of year when we willingly throw ourselves into scary situations. Oh, but it's better to remind yourself how much money you have rather than getting an overdraft alert from your bank. <laughs> Who knows? What you see might even calm you rather than freak you out. Oh, are you doing this? I'm doing this. Go away, don't leave my account. Okay. One, you can stay on your parents' health insurance until you're 26. Don't wanna pay health insurance on top of all your other bills? Are you under 26 years old? Well, this one's pretty simple. Ask mom or dad to stay on their insurance for as long as possible. Paying your own health insurance might make you feel like an adult, but it'll also make you feel like you're drowning. And that doesn't sound too fun. Plus, if you're drowning, you'll probably need to use your health insurance, which, ooh, that's a cycle. To those of you who just turned 27, I wasn't trying to attack you. There were still plenty of other hacks on this list to help you out. So, what do you do to relax and unwind and avoid the stresses of being an adult? Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your answer to us at List25. What do you do, Mike, with List25? Um, D&D, video games, hang with friends, and just kind of literally relax. Nice. Hang out. I do all the items on this list. Why? Because I wrote this list, guys. This was one of the, this is the first time kind of doing this. So, if you are upset that there are only 10 items. That's right. That was a bad whistle, but. Attack me dry. in the comments section down below. <laughs> Or tweet your hatred to us at list25. At T. Frower. Yeah, but he checks uh, Twitter way more than I do. Yeah, but so. if, if they hate you, you should be the one to receive it, not me. Yeah, I know, but they can just say, at list25, okay. I hate Tristan. Okay. And he'll tell me. Okay, I will. I, I didn't even know you had that poll about which one of us is more professional going on. <laughs> I didn't. Someone else did. Really? That was someone else's poll. I had to find out from Alex, who told me, hey, Tristan, you're losing on this poll. There were two polls. Did you start one of them? I started neither. Uh, okay. Who's more professional and I won and who's more funny and I won that one too. That sucks. <laughs> Again, I, I was just, I was working and I heard, hey, Tristan, you're losing on this poll. I'm like, what poll? Well, actually both of these polls. What polls? I won both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, it depends on your type of humor. Sometimes I'm funnier. Not for probably most of these people, but <laughs> I've been known to be funny. Yeah. So thanks, guys. Thanks for your support or hatred. I don't know. Why not both? <laughs> yeah. Sup hatred. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. 
And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.